Hey everyone, more you don't know Jack, because it's a new Monday. Coming up right now. This is 30 seconds, folks. Ooh, hello, I'm Donnie. What in the sand hill are you doing up at this hour? It's practically the crap of dawn. I guess it's serpendipity that I too am awake then. So since I'm all wide-eyed and bully-tailed, you may as well tell me how many players there are. All alone? Here's hoping some jaunty trivia can fend off the crushing loneliness. What's your name? Hmm. Seems you forgot the most important part. I didn't. Tell you what. Oh, let's call you Carpet. Yeah, because you remind me of a carpet sample. Perfect. Allow me to we give already you had the instructions. Questions will ameliorize before oh, well. you. Select the boutonniere next to the correct answer. There's a timer tickling away, so the more expeditiously you buzz in, the more renumination you'll receive. Or drop. Pull it together, folks. Ten seconds. Guest of luck. All right, let's check the discipline, please. Six. Five. It's kind of weak for real three. discipline there. Just the one whip crap? Crap? One whip crack? Wow. Hey, Cookie here. And if you don't know why I'm mad, then I'm just not going to tell you. Fair enough. Playing alone, are we? Don't worry, I'm here. <laughs> and our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by Buzzkill Bee Beard Trimmers. When you've got bees on your face, make sure they're in their place. Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. <laughs> and right this Beards, way. Beards, bees, trimmers, buzzing. First up, harpy birthday. My last beer party was a huge success. The highlight was when I built that beautiful harp out of bottles of harp beer. I highly recommend it. Real crowd pleaser. Say you build a harp out of bottles of harp lager. If you use one bottle for each string, about how many 12 packs will you need to make all the strings? One, two, three, or four? Those harps have four, don't they? There are 47 strings on a standard grand yeah. harp, and four 12-packs yeah. will give you 48 bottles of harp. Which means you'll have one delicious beer left over to drink while you enjoy your awesome new beer bottle harp. I'd play that harp. Coming up, in Technicolor. Which group may be suffering from a severe case of the skin-related condition, cyanosis? The Na'vi, the Ewoks, the Vulcans, or the cast of Jersey Shore? Blue Man Group would also work, but... No, nothing to be there. Cyanosis is the blue coloration of the skin due to deoxygenated blood cells, and the Na'vi and the movie Avatar are very blue. Coincidentally, the dialogue in the movie Avatar, also blue. In part, yeah. Here's a good one. Sounds like Rambo. In a game of Rochambeau, what would beat Tina Fey's NBC sitcom? 30 lizard, 30 scissors, 30 stone, or 30 paper? Uh, paper covers rock. Rochambeau is a fancy name for rock, paper, scissors. So 30 paper would beat Tina Fey's 30 rock. Which still makes no sense to me. How does paper beat rock? By covering it? So using that logic, blanket beats soldier. Everybody quite drunk. Everybody quite drunk. Hey. Next, boxes, boxes, boxes. If the container store had a Boxing Day sale, how would the advertisements read? Half price boxes on February 10th. All boxes 30% off on December 26th. Three boxes for the price of one on June 3rd. Buy three boxes, get two free on August 8th. Boxing Day's after Christmas, isn't it? Boxing Day's the day after Christmas when it was traditional to give servants and tradesmen presents. <laughs> In America, we don't celebrate silly holidays like Boxing Day. We have real things to celebrate, like on Black Wednesday, when we celebrate awkwardly getting trashed in your hometown with people you went to high school with. Or Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, when we celebrate people getting trampled to death in the pursuit of an Elmo doll. We love our violence. Yes, we do. Ooh, yeah. This one's known as Nice Unit, and it's a this or that. I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, tell me if it's a unit of currency somewhere in the world, what? or 
a famous drag queen. If it's a what? unit of currency, press one. A famous if it's a drag, drag queen, press two. Each one right gets I know you one drag ads. queen's name. Fake American dollars. That's it. Each one wrong costs you three hundred. And keep an eye on the cock clock. We good? Here we go. Balboa. Ruble. Rupee. Rupaul. Kip. Cologne. Dong. I had no idea. Not bad. You've won a dong. I like to take a crayon to my dollar bills and draw lipstick and eyeliner on George Washington. Totally makes him look like a chick. And you don't even have to do anything to his ridiculous hair. No comment. That's the end of a thrilling first round. And you're sitting pretty for someone so ugly. Don't forget, all the questions in round two are worth double. Time to lose it all. And don't forget, our wrong answer of the game is still out there waiting to be picked. Let's see what's in store. How about, I personally believe that people don't have maps. Suppose the Miss America pageant were decided based solely on who's the corniest. Considering which state grows the most corn annually, who'd be the big winner? Miss Nebraska and World Peace, Miss Kansas and the children, Miss Iowa and the less fortunate, or Miss Indiana and puppies? Who does grow the most corn? I mean, Nebraska's the corn huskers. Let's go with that. World Peace never wins. Oh, well. Here's where the money is. Iowa, Iowa is okay. by far the corniest state in the Union, producing over 2 billion bushels of corn per year. It also produces the most pigs. No offense, Miss Iowa. Question seven. May I introduce Magic Fingers? It's the perfect choice that you order than buzzing and see if you are right. Okay, this one's an order question, so I'm adding a thousand bucks to the prize total. Arrange these magical things in chronological order based on when they were first brought into the world, from earliest to most recent. Magic the Gathering, Magic 8-Ball, Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson, Magic 8-Ball, Magic the Gathering, Magic the Gathering, Magic 8-Ball, Magic Johnson. Magic 8-Ball, Magic Johnson, Magic the Gathering, or Magic 8-Ball, Magic the Gathering, Magic Johnson. I think the 8-Ball came before Magic Johnson. The Magic 8-Ball was invented in 1946, Magic Johnson was born in 1959, and Magic the Gathering was introduced in 1993. That'll net you an extra grand. But if you ask me, ladies, there's nothing more magical than getting to witness childbirth. Ladies? Blocking chickens picking out a mate. Oh. Guess I'll marry eight. Take a good look at... Skeletor sliced it into the sand trap again. If He-Man became master of the golf universe by winning the Masters Tournament, what would he wear? Leather boots and a red jacket, a battle axe holster and a yellow jacket, a blonde wig and a blue jacket, or a fur speedo and a green jacket? Huh. Yellow jacket. I know they wear a green jacket at the Masters, but... Yellow jacket Time sounds suspicious to me. No, no, I'll get this. Yep. The winner of golf's Masters Tournament is given a green jacket. It's classy, really. Who wants a trophy or a plaque? If I ever start my own prestigious golf tournament, I'm going to give the winner a nice pair of slacks. <laughs> Yellow jacket. That must sting. <laughs> and what better way to take this sting away than with... A B beard trimmer, courtesy of Buzzkill B beard trimmer. Hey, Who gets smoke. you that perfect just attack by a swarm of bees look every time? Buzz does. Today's wrong answer of the game gets you another eight thousand on top of your current score. Sweet. Well, give me a B goatee though. That's where it is. It's time for Lady and the Trump. What would happen if Donald Trump did a season of The Apprentice that accurately recreated the apprenticeships of the Middle Ages? All the contestants would be five-year-olds, the season would last seven years, new catchphrase, you're fired and you're murdered, or Trump would be a woman. I'll go with seven years, because I have no idea. Originally, apprenticeships lasted about seven years. Hey. 
And after all those years of work and study, Trump's apprentice would finally be qualified to go on to another lower profile reality show. Or just release a sex tape or something. Hold me, never let me go. Either one is equally like me, really. And on its way, the caddis in the haddis. Which of these adorable rhymes would you not see in an autobiographical book by Dr. Zeus? Romans aren't stupider, but they call me Jupiter. I fought my dad Cronus, and then they took his Thronus. I ended an era when I murdered Hera. Or, I was saved in a cave as a wee little babe. Huh. I'm not up Watch on my... Clock. Let's go with the one there. You are stupider. Yes. Why didn't I have you no pick idea. this? Hera in Greek mythology is Zeus's wife. He didn't kill her. Hera is also Zeus's sister. You can read about Zeus and Hera in the book Hop on Sis. And what we got? Oh, just a four. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press one. 4,000 big ones if you're right, but say goodbye to 4,000 if you're wrong. And don't ever forget... Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue of presidents and popcorn. Please rise and figure out these cinematic commanders in chief. Good luck. Oh, where is he? Okay. That's what we're going for. Whoever's the president in the movie, huh? No. Okay. Yes. I have not seen this movie. I never saw that movie, so I don't know. Dave, who was? Oh, I, I never saw Dave either. I should have. I don't know who was in Dave. Ethan, I didn't see that one either. Lucky guess, though. Nope, this one either. Michael Douglas is the only one. Jeff Bridges, okay. Maybe it was Pullman. Let's see if he shows up again. Kevin Klein, okay. Oh, I got all the answers. Missed a that's bunch, the game. but you know, I got them all. Well, you did okay, and if that's what you set out to do, then you did great. But from a purely objective standpoint, you just did okay. You don't know Jack! That's a wrap. Donnie, what's happening? So, are you thinking you'd like to enrage in more Tom Flummery? No. No I more Tom Flummery. I spent with you. Uh, with the love eh. of my life. Episode I can me? take or leave oh, as far as, you know, personal satisfaction. Is that a but gallstone? Yes, it's mine. I wanted to give you something symbolic oh, well. of my love for you, so it's I over. Have access file that my gall <laughs> Another week of you don't know Jack taking care of. So it's next week, and you're perfect. episode forty-one. A lot of gall to say no. But for this on week, contrary, love, I leave contrary. you with the commercials. <laughs> as always, <laughs> so take care, though, folks. The was one of the most painful See you things I've ever experienced. The you've got gall gallstone jewelers. When giving her a piece of your heart isn't enough. Morning, Ted. Oh, you look horrible. Rough night last night? You bet. It was Carol's and my anniversary, and we didn't get any sleep. <laughs> Sounds great. You'd think, but I don't know. Nighttime's just not the same as it used to be. Sounds like you need some nighttime putty. Nighttime whatty? Nighttime putty. It's just like regular putty, but for nighttime. Huh, how's it work? Here, I'll show you. See, because nighttime putty's made from a water-soluble, stain-proof plasticine polymer, I can mold it around this area here, or even back here, and up over this for a fit that goes on smooth and stays secure all night long. I see. Whoa, what's that part for? <laughs> I thought you'd ask about that. Look, if I bend this back here and open this flap, ta-da! Oh my gosh, how'd that get in there? <laughs> Beats me. Wow, Dan, you sure know a lot about nighttime putty. Hey, my late night buddy is nighttime putty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Dan.
next week on a new episode of Old People Exceeding Expectations. Mr. Tillman, do you need a hand getting to the bathroom? Oh, leave me some shred of dignity. I can use the toilet without your help. You don't need to hold my hand. Oh, okay, great. Scream if you get trapped in there. Yeah. That's next week on Old People Exceeding Expectations. Ugh, I hate these braces. My stupid mom made me get them. Yeah, braces suck. Braces and mom suck. Ooh, Tyler just texted me. Tyler's a douche. This exchange has been brought to you by the Council for Overheard Doing Conversations. <laughs> It's collapsible, it's expendable, it fits in your pocket, it fits in your mouth. The Omnitool has it all. It's a wood chipper, it's a cat carrier, it's an oven, it's a cradle. It slices through glass and dissolves metal. It's a shovel, it's an ironing board, it's a bug zapper, it's a radon detector. Don't just buy one. It's a tampon, it's a broadcasting tower, it's a war memorial, it's a Spanish dictionary. Replace 10,000 clumsy tools with one Omnitool. It's an air conditioner, it's flattering pants, it's a bomb shelter, it's a healthy alternative to bacon. Plus, the Omnitool is 100% edible and fits comfortably in your pocket. It's a covered wagon, it's the face of God. It's a space helmet, it's a particle accelerator. Operators are standing by. Get yours today. It's a toy. It's a rifle. It's a walrus diaper. It's a lemon zester. Next time on the Laugh Factory Radio stand-up special, it's visual comedian Rich Coolidge. You ever walk into a restaurant and the waiter looks at you like this? And you go like this? <laughs> I told my mom I was single and she handed me this. Look at it. <laughs> if I ever own a poster shop, this is what I'm going to sell. Hoochie Mama! <laughs> That's next time on the Laugh Factory Radio stand-up special. Hello, I'm Nick Bear, and I'm not here to sell you anything. I used my own money to buy some advertising time to let the world know that I hate Jeff Hansen. This isn't a tricky sales ploy or a joke. Seriously, Jeff Hansen of Chicago, Illinois is a real person and a jerk. <laughs>